Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So today you're going to get to see me as an ex-vegan. I was vegan for around six years, eat pork ribs for the first time. And I actually haven't had them in about seven years and I've only not been vegan for around 21 days. And mm, that smells good. If you don't know why I'm not vegan, you want to know why, then link up above. This is a mukbang style video and man, it's hot. So that's why I haven't got a t-shirt on in case anyone wonders. I got salt here. I got pepper here. I love salt and pepper. That's the only seasoning I really use. But I'm going to try it first without any seasoning. And I don't feel weirded out by it at all. It's just ribs. And these are actually pasture raised. So they're fed a natural diet. They get to free roam, free range, antibiotic free, hormone free, which makes it way, way, way more nutrient dense and way more tasty. And I'm going to try and break it off of my hands first. I cook these in the oven for quite a while. It actually breaks off quite easy. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Now I cook these in beef tallow, which is so fatty. Mmm. Mmm. Quite chewy. I could cook it a lot longer to make it a lot tender so it just falls off, but it's still pretty tender, but mm, I prefer it more tender. Mm. Really fatty. Mm. I like the texture. Pulls off the bone quite easily. You see it there? I don't feel like I need any salt at all, actually, but I will add salt because Salt is full of many different minerals and it's really, really healthy for us. And I make sure I only use unrefined sea salt. Refined sea salt is just pure sodium chloride, which is not good for you whatsoever. Put a bit of this pepper on as well. But, oh man, vegans definitely need to be eating this. So many vegans are so malnourished because they're lacking so many nutrients that is not in plant foods such as cholesterol, collagen, cartilage, lasting. Mm. Mm. Wow, it's actually more enjoyable than I thought. And when I was actually cooking it and looking at it, I was like, this is a bit weird. Animals, bones, like ribs on my plate. But I'm not weirded out by it all. Mmm. Mmm. That was some crispy skin right there. Wow. Mmm. Man, people that say these fake vegan mock meats are really good, like Beyond Meat and so forth. I've had them as a vegan. These don't compare to the real deal at all in texture, taste. It's like buying a Chinese like knockoff of some decent clothing. It just doesn't compare to the real one. Mm. The salt has helped bring out the flavour more. Mm. Oh. Such a good healthy fat source. Unlike those reflam plant plant oils even. I must have said that wrong then. Mm. If you want to see me and my girlfriend we made a video before showing us eating steak for the first time. Be a link for that up above. She hadn't actually had red meat for around 15 years until that point. She made the switch as well from a vegan diet. And um, man, since we made the switch, we're both just feeling so much better mentally, physically, holistically, in so many ways.
Mm. Who needs barbecue sauce on the ribs? With all that sugar, sugar is so bad for you. It's a refined processed food. It actually depletes B12 and other nutrients in the body. It messes up the gut microbiome. Causes behavioural issues in children. Mmm. But, I can understand why a lot of people put sauce on their meat. On their meat. Because if it's from factory farm sources, unlike this one, then it just doesn't taste as good at all. So I can understand, yeah, why you put loads of garbage on it. Mmm, I'm so enjoyable to rip it off the bone. Mmm. Now I'm realising this isn't a lot at all to be eating. Because a lot of this is just pure bone. I've tried pork chops, I don't really like pork chops. I've tried some bacon, that's good. Mmm. Mm. And the reason why I did the beef tail is just to make it way more fatty. Because I'm trying to be in a set ketosis and doing sort of like a style of a carnival diet but keto ketified. <laughs> He asked my girlfriend to join me today, which she didn't want to for her own reasons, which is all good. But, man, she would be enjoying this experience. We did one with raw liver yesterday. I've never had liver in my life. She's never had it raw. And it was very interesting what happened to her. I had a good experience, not so much of her. If you want to see that one, video link will be up above for that as well. Mm. I'm just going to quickly see if my girlfriend get the other one. And she heard me as well. There's another half of this. You want to say hello? She's been a bit shy today, I think. Uh, hello. Hmm, thank you. Do you want to try a bite on camera? No. Oh, it's so good. Hmm. <laughs> can't be tempted today. She don't get tempted when I eat something that's good. She only wants it. Hmm. Seriously. Why did I not eat stuff like this for like six years? Hmm. I don't think you can say meat doesn't taste good. That's just high quality. Mmm. The skin is like roasted chicken skin. Mm. Let's put that one out of the way. Mm. And vegans think we don't need meat. <laughs> Come on. 
do you think in our natural environment we eat no meat? Ridiculous. I mean, do you think we also did like 100% meat all times? No. Be a variety of different foods. To get a variety of different nutrition. Not being dogmatic or idealistic. Must be like, oh, I only eat plant foods. It's like. And I used to be one of these vegans that was like, oh yeah, plant foods are really good for everyone. You can get everything you need. Bullshit. I just think there's so many people failing on a vegan diet. Just search it up. You find so many YouTube videos, so many long-term vegans that are on YouTube. They quit because they start deteriorating. Do you know what the vegans say to that? People that found? You didn't do it right. It's like, Jesus Christ, all these different people that I listen to, and like myself included, we tried everything to make it work. If you tell that a vegan, I'll tell you, well, you definitely still didn't do it right again. And if you deteriorate him, just do it until you die. Like, it doesn't matter if you feel like crap. Just suffer. This is crazy thinking. And you know what? I mean, didn't question a lot of the scientific research you used to be aware of with the vegan diet. So much of it, we know how to look at scientific research. Like, if you look into ones that have done them like meat, they say it's toxic for us, it causes cancer and other things. When you start to pick it apart, you start to realise a lot of what they're saying is very untrue. Like, they're saying, if you cook meat too much, and it starts to get brown and create acrylamides on it and other toxic substances that it caused cancer. There's no peer reviewed clinical trials out there ever on humans proving that. So only on rice rice mice and rats. I was thinking about rats and mice at the same time since they're rice. <clears throat> and when you look at sage, guess what? They gave him like a thousand times a dose of those toxic substances in the food. So, of course it's really dangerous for them. My girlfriend's looking, I think she might be interested in this. <laughs> and then, they get cancer from it. But guess what I'd have to do to recreate I'd have to eat like a thousand char-grilled burgers. It's like... It's a completely flawed study. It's a question of science. Don't believe it blindly. And again, a lot of time I've been doing studies with me. It's like processed meat, factory farm meat full of antibiotics, hormones, God knows what else. And pretty much everyone in the studies, I consume a lot of other stuff alongside that meat. So, very flawed studies. Yet the vegans will be very evangelistic with it and just like screaming it from the rooftops and thinking that it's like absolute true. It's not. I used to believe so many things blindly, I didn't question it. Since swapping over to a meat, I started to realise. So 
so much it's just like pretty much propaganda. And then you look into things like Beyond Meat. Vegans are like, oh, it's amazing. Well, guess what? McDonald's is going to, it looks like, by 60% of the shares. Who's also an investor as well? Bill Gates. Tyson, the biggest meat company in the world. Why do you think they're doing that? Let's go about making money. If you look at the ingredients, there's Beyond Burgers. It's like dog kibble. Shouldn't be eating that garbage. It's like toxic rancid oils. And all this other precious garbage. Give me a real burger. I want a meat burger. I don't want a crap. Hmm. So I'm trying to taste chicken now. Like rice chicken. The skin, the crispy skin is so good. What other foods would you like to see me eat for the first time? My girlfriend wants to do fish eggs. Guess why? Because I don't like them. She had a bad experience with liver. I said she can choose the next food. She's had fish eggs. Mm. I'm not looking forward to that. She knows she'll be fine with it, don't you, dear? Not these ones. Don't know if you had that shit. I'm not eating it because pigs eat their own crap. Well. If they're eating like natural foods, which they are, if they eat their own crap, it's pretty good for them. It's good for compost heaps, good for plants. No. I know these ribs didn't eat the crap, so. <laughs> I'm not eating its anus. Or its intestines. Mmm. Mmm. Real nourishing food. It's not covered in pesticides. I like all that Chinese vegetable crap I was eating. Went on a vegan diet. Hmm. That was like the perfect amount for me. That is done. Done, done, done. Mm. And I'm fully satiated. Mm. Ten being the best, one being the worst. It's a rating scale for food. Ten out of ten for me. Wow. Way more enjoyable than I thought it would be. Way less weird, not weird at all. Mm, and I feel good from it. Mm. Look at that lovely juicy fat around my lips, vegans. For those animals. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. You're missing out.
go submit and make the amazing. So yeah, leave your questions down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to receive a lot more of these mukbang style videos from me where I'm showing you me as a recent ex-vegan eat many different things that I haven't eaten for years. So enjoy the rest of your day, make the most of it and catch you on the flip side. Peace.